Yeah. So donate to the fucking Patreon. <clears throat> All of you who are patrons to men online, I'm sorry to break it to you, but you're basically gay. You instead put a dollar bill in some guy's bulge. That's literally what you're doing when you are a man giving other men online money. You got you a know, great bulge there today, Brandon. Sent me an article about how to make my bulge look bigger. He's that's, looking out for me. That's, that, that's real bro love. That's loyalty. I went and found the actual Getty uh, uh, photo. He's not even tucking his schlong here. I mean, he's got a you know pretty big package there. This is a joke. Exactly, Alex. A man with a penis, bulging penis. He's even got the sports enhancing testicles and Johnson. Large, flaccid genitals. He's packing an anaconda in his pants. He's got some heavy firepower. Submit to them entirely. I'm Perry. This is In Plain Sight. And to my right, the spicy bitch himself, star Hell of yeah. Blaze TV's still unnamed show with Alex Stein, the one and only Mr. Brandon Steele. See, so say coordinate outfits. Yeah. Spicy bitch Tabasco, Tabasco. shirt. And, okay. and the color. Red, red, white fit going on. It's nice. It's called, it's called a drip. I see what you did. You should have been wearing the uh, Chinese New Year Jays to if, match. If I showed my feet more, I would have, but they're That's not. That's true. You you could be barefoot the entire time we do this, and it wouldn't make a difference. I did a few of the solo shows barefoot. Why not? You might I as was, well. I was fucked up. Live a little. I was pretty zooted. I, uh, speaking of people who might be pretty zooted, I, I dove into... Uh, are you familiar with real raw news, Mr. Michael Baxter? I think I've brought him to the show. I feel like I know the name from somewhere. I think the one you'll probably remember. Do, do you remember when I was reading the articles that were covering uh, Hillary's Gitmo trial where she was like oh, flopping yes, around yes, like yes. a fish and the people were showing up in like yeah. WWE fashion? And... Yeah, the fan fiction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He, he still dude rules. He's still at it. Hell um, yeah. In fact, hold on. I think Fuck the First Amendment so goddamn cool. This time, it was uh, something about, like, the military. You saw that article the other day about, um, what was it? It was, like, Boston College or something was working on COVID. And they oh, developed, yeah, like, they're a, creating an 80% deadlier virus. Yeah, so he wrote some article yeah. about how, like, SEAL Team 6 stormed Boston University. It was, like, shooting the scientists or some <laughs> shit. It was <laughs> so fucking dumb. But uh, they were executing scientists. Let's see. Oh, I do still have it up. Hold on. Let me. Uh, uh, you the, know, I didn't realize how many people fantasize about killing others. But this my favorite part about Mr. Baxter's writing is that he doesn't just report the event happening. He reports the dialogue that occurs during the event as if he was there yeah. to witness everything firsthand that he reports. He writes it like a screenplay. Uh, what happens to mice might not happen to humans, but we weren't leaving anything to chance. <laughs> Vac Here we go. Vaccines are killing enough people, and we don't want a real Captain Trips on our hands, our source said, referencing the fictional pathogen Stephen King's The Stand that kills 99.4% of the population. General Berger, he added, assembled a team to eradicate the threat. Hell At 2 a.m., yeah. the team penetrated campus security and special forces breach the doors why would they have to it's a fucking college dorm like, no they had the doors locked why why would they need special forces to go into a college lab well who else are you gonna trust just any old forces well because further in this article I'm, I'm gonna skip ahead here they don't have to fight off any counter effort there's no one defending the you lab mean, you mean the scientists weren't armed with ak-47s no so they got special <laughs> forces to invade this lab where there's no security so the government <laughs> apparently geared up this entire team to go ruin this lab when they, they could have just sent like a, a street patrol officer to do this. Well, we had to shoot that virus. That's here. The team found three individuals garbed in biosafety gear working in dim light and transferring <laughs> test tubes between refrigerated storage cabinets in the lab. One of the occupants, apparently, the lead scientist said to the team, who are you? You're not supposed to be here. And when told he was under arrest by authority of the United States military, added, no, that's not right. The NIH knows we're doing this. <laughs> we have a research grant. <laughs> Hell no, yeah. no, we got approval for this research. We got to kill them all. Uh, d -d -d I love his, he's just so descriptive about it. Oh, here's here is my favorite line. This is what the, the, the dude in charge tells him before he really gets them. Oh, shit. Consider yourselves shut down. <laughs> Damn, what a line. Yeah. Consider yourselves <laughs> shut down. I read that as like, what's he 
Come on, Michael. That is a fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger. You gotta, line. you gotta write better than that, dude. You're not pumping out an article every day. You gotta come up with a singer better than that. There'll be no more viruses on my watch. <laughs> It's so fucking shitty. Does he say who they were working for? Does he accuse them of being Chinese? No, no, the NIH. He was working for the American government. These oh. people who are also working for the American government. So he doesn't just, reconcile that. We're both evil. We're both the villain and the hero? I, I think so. Uh, I mean, that's pretty cool. The samples taken from the lab, our source said, will be analyzed and then sent to a flash chamber for destruction. Yo, this dude Real really... Real Raw News will supply added info on this operation when we receive it. This dude really needs to just consider writing fiction. Alternative media is under attack by the deep state. <laughs> <laughs> Please donate. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm sure he's not allowed on any platforms. Well, no. actually, I take that back. There are a few. He's got his own platform. Real Raw News, where none of the words mean anything. Yeah, All but, the descriptors are wrong. Real raw news. I guess yeah, it's raw. No, it's real and raw, unlike yeah. that fake news. Well, I guess it's that's, real raw. It's that's, not real. It's well done. But it is raw. I mean, it's real to him, I think. <laughs> that's, do you I like, think it is, though? I like to believe these people usually believe their own shit. I, Sometimes you can tell they don't, and it becomes pretty clear. The dialogue is really what does it for The dialogue yeah. is a step beyond... I mean, he has to know in his heart that he's taking some artistic liberties with the dialogue. Consider yourself shut down. But I assume dun, dun, dun. I assume he thinks that's exactly what would have been said. Yes. So I don't think he would view that as a lie. You know, now, I just assume the people like this and like David, like they... They're too crazy to not believe what they're... Because it takes dedication to keep doing that day after day after day. Yeah. And unless you're making a ton of money, which I doubt this guy's making a ton of money, you're doing yeah, it for the... he's killing it. You're doing it just because you feel like you, that you love it. Like, you're compelled to do it. You have to do this. I actually came across that. I was trying to... I couldn't fucking remember the name of the Q website anymore that I used to go browse. Is I, it's it, probably shut down now. The Great Awakening... Oh, the Great Awakening dot win. That's what it was. I couldn't think of I it. I think they're all on Telegram now, to be honest. Of course they are. Yeah, that's where all the filth has matriculated to. Telegram is where you can get some real... You want you know to talk about anti-Semitism? <laughs> oh, believe me, I know. Ooh. Oh yeah, I don't think doesn't look like uh doesn't look like this website's doing too hot at the moment. I mean, look. R.I.P. Look, QAnon is dying off mostly because they're all in jail for storming the Capitol. Yeah. Uh, and they've been purged. That's the interesting thing about if Elon takes Twitter is think yeah. of all the people we get back. You think they'll make I, a comeback? I remember the day, of course. There's no reach like Twitter. You know, I you can go to Gab, Parlor Truth, whatever. Like, they're fine, but it's just not Twitter. Uh, but I remember the day they kicked all the QAnon people off Twitter. It was a dark day. I'm it sure was, Real Raw News reported on it. He was probably kicked off. Consider it, yourself banned. Consider yourself <laughs> banned. But, uh, yeah, that was, like, one of the most... Like, you could see it happening, purges. Oh, yeah. Where it's just like, I saw my feed just turn into nothing because I followed so many QAnon retards because they were cracking me up. But, yeah, they just, one day it was just, you, they all disappeared at the same time. It was a disappointing time. I, and, hmm, what if they allowed them back just so people can sue them in this new, uh, this new little feeding frenzy we have of uh, lawsuits? Uh, just for the, the heck of it. I don't know if anybody in the U.S. has tried to sue people over their tweets yet. In other countries, it has to be coming though. In other countries, you could. Well, because the whole Section Two Thirty thing makes it weird. So, like, technically, the social media companies like aren't liable, but but the individuals might be. But you'd also. <laughs> I didn't Sorry, even know I'd, Wikipedia had that option. I, I'll explain that in a second. I, all right. I, I guess I'll explain it now. I didn't know that was going to play through immediately. <laughs> in my head, I've been doing two things all weekend to keep myself occupied. Uh -huh. One, pedophile Gary Spivey has been narrating my day. <laughs> my day. Very pedophile racist Gary Spivey. You guys will get a hint to him on Friday. It may be our greatest new character. I've been enjoying that. The other <laughs> thing I've been doing is in my head, I've been going, rice, rice, baby. And then... <laughs> Use <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> Using that as the baseline. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. No, that's rice, that's, rice, rice, baby. Dun, 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 dun. Rice, rice, baby. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> all right, that's all I wanted to bring that up for. In honor of uh, oh, shit. Xi Jinping having his his predecessor dragged away in the middle of a meeting. Oh. <laughs> I don't have the soundboard anymore. That's the only noise I need. Yo, if Elon gets Twitter back, the age of racial song parodies is coming back. It could. We we could have a return. I will make Rice Rice Baby. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'll make the fuck out of that. Oh, I'm sure it has to have been done a million times. I don't even know why it came to I don't even I, care. I think I was eating orange chicken last <laughs> weekend. <laughs> <laughs> the most American of yes, Chinese foods. Yes, but it uh, it was an inspired moment. I still haven't pitched Marvel or uh, Agent Orange Chicken. Or, uh, <laughs> I think it was Agent Orange Chicken. No, Agent Orange Chicken was the was the the weapon of mass destruction. Oh, right, it was right. General Sal oh, yeah. as Chinese Captain America, <laughs> and his right. sh- his shield was a walk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's so fucking dumb. That's one of the classics. All right, now now someone who desperately. Needs, uh, yeah, so we can get to this. Some, so I have, some free speech. We have one lead up in that. Okay, so Ethan Klein got a YouTube ban. Oh, too I saw that the, the H three dude. For those who don't know, got uh, got hit. Yeah, so uh, he got suspended for saying that if there's another Holocaust, he hopes Ben Shapiro gets gassed first. Yeah, I was yeah, like, well, that's kind of funny, but I yeah. can also see where you can get in trouble. But then my favorite part is reading the article is he at one point. Goes like, I wonder if he, if it's it'd be worse for him to go first or last. <laughs> and I was like, well, that's an odd thing to wonder, yeah. but that is an interesting quandary. That's a that's a decent hypothetical. I feel like last would be worse because you'd be like, damn, they could have stopped it. Oh, because uh, I mean, it hmm. ended right after he went in, which would be a bummer. Ooh, uh, you know, if I had to go, I'd go first. Yeah, if I know I'm going. What I, I I would pick first because then I think there's the off chance you don't know what you're walking into and then you just end up dead. Yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. You have yeah. no idea what's about. If you go last, then you just have to hear the horror stories. Yeah. 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 If if you walk into a room not knowing if the room is not called like the the death room, yet, yeah, then it's still just a room when you walk in. Yeah. If it doesn't, you're the one who gets to christen it the death room. It's not already very hot. Yes. When so you, you walk ju- in, you just get to go in and die. I, yeah. I feel like going last is much worse because the the build up, you know, it's really the the stress of the situation that kills you. It's the si- stress. The silent killer. I mean, in torture, like, that's one of the things they use. Yeah, yeah, it's the buildup. It's like the waiting for the pain to yeah, come. Yeah, the waiting is the hardest part. Yeah, waiting of, is of all... the Holocaust. Waiting's always the har- hardest part of a genocide. Yeah, you it know? really is. It's it's it, it was the hardest part of that whole thing. But I'm really digging anti-Semitism's renaissance here. It's made a comeback. It's totally back, bro. Like, now, we, what's, what's with the, the YouTubers like H3 who are kind of... Bland and pussified. Every time they step out of pocket, they step out of pocket in a pretty big way. Like well, he kind of makes these bitch-made YouTube videos, and, and yeah, he's a pussy. Does, does shit kind of trying to cancel people? He's like, yeah, yeah. I hope that Ben Shapiro dies in a gas yeah. chamber. Hey, if they do have another Holocaust, I hope he's first. Yeah, that'll teach him. See, it, this is what people don't understand: is you got to set the bar for yourself. If, if yeah. the bar of your content is set at that, you can probably get away, because that's not that wild of a statement. Sure, it's yeah. a little disrespectful, but there's a lot of people on YouTube who can get away with saying it. Like us. However, if you're used to making, like, Minecraft Let's Play videos, and then you, you yeah. say you hope someone dies in the Holocaust. Yeah, or you do, like, what the, the, the best, best friends or best enemies, where the fuck that other one was yeah. with that trans chick. Yeah. Trisha it, Paytas. But yeah. You can't both try to be like a social justice warrior and then just drop Holocaust jokes casually. Like, yeah, 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 pick a lane. That'd that'd be like us being like, all right, folks, we've got some serious things to talk about today. Okay, there's hunger. It'd be like if we started a stop bullying campaign. Yeah. No one would buy it. Leave David alone. Okay, he's doing his best. We joke around a lot, but, but bullying is wrong. You know, this is our PS, which we might have to be forced to do by a court one day. Our PSA against bullying. They kind of made... I I miss the days of the forced celebrity PSA. 
back in the the late nineties, yeah. early two thousands. It was every a time, thing. Every time a celebrity got caught up with like a DUI, yeah, the or DUIs something, were big. They they have to go on TV and tell us it was time to like raise our children yeah. or like stop beating your kids or or don't drink and drive. Yeah, yeah. I guess maybe they don't offer that in court anymore. I think it, David Schwimmer had one. Like you can be. He got hit, DUI. What, I don't remember what his thing was. But I'm PS- David Schwimmer, and this is my PSA about not hitting Your children. Your least favorite Friends member. I think his was about you can be funny without being mean or something like that. No, you can't. <laughs> but yes, it was a... Uh, it was one of those PSAs where it's like, are we we're really spending government funds on this? We we need to. Do- I mean. We waste so much fucking money in our government that, like, that's not actually that big a waste. I guess. my f- One of my f- favorite ones still is, like, sending $10 million to, like, Iran for transgender studies or some shit. You know what my it's favorite like, one is? What? Hell yeah. Yeah, that's that's my favorite. Let's get David Schwimmer to do that. Let's a get him PSA to, about the Chinese. Yeah, let's get him to do the thing with his, his fingers in his eyes. <laughs> this is a David the Schwimmer here and, to talk about a Chinese country. <laughs> Did you know a communism actually a save a country from a very, very bad thing? Oh, fuck. Those are Americans we will not win because we send all the fentanyl to them. <laughs> You can be funny without being mean. Yeah. Now, this is an example of what not to do. Yes. That would... Yeah, I don't know. I'll I'll definitely try and get that once we end up in court. A Your, PSA? A court-ordered yeah. PSA? Your Honor, can I just... I got the film equipment. Can I just do a PSA? I'll, I'll do 10 of them. Fuck it. Why not? Uh, I don't want to give them, like, a punch card for it. Yeah. I want to earn the other nine. That's true. That'd be a better solution for YouTube. Is if you got hit with the strike, they're like, no, you need to do a 30-second PSA uh, on why what you said was wrong and apologize, and then you can keep going. <laughs> That'd be way more effective. You already have people with the equipment. Yeah. Let them just fucking publicly apologize. Yeah. Or or maybe we just go full extreme, just bring back public executions. We let the children of YouTube vote on whoever's canceled that week, whoever gets executed. That'll be the new Mr. Beast video. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That dude's wild. I hope he runs for president. You know who loves public executions is uh, the real raw oh, news I thought, I thought I still had the fucking Asian noise queued up. No, the Japanese, or excuse me, the Chinese are smart in that they they will drag you out so uh, everyone knows that dude's going to go get executed. Oh, yeah, yeah. But they don't show it. Yeah. You know, like that, They re- everyone's realized, like, that's a step too far. You lose public support. They know... They, uh, it's a subdued barbarism. They, yeah. They hint at it without pal- being overt with it. It's palatable. Correct. Yeah. It's toned down. Yeah, like, you know they're going to brutally murder this man, but... But, not in front long, of you. As long as I don't have to see it, you know? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so, so, so anti-Semitism is back. This is... In a big way. This story's from fucking L.A., which I find hilarious. Someone actually, actually texted me a different angle of this earlier this morning. Yeah, so this is right over the 405. Yeah. That's yeah, buddy. pretty fucking goyim. Kanye is right about the Jews. I, I Honk if yes. you know. That's my favorite one. Just honk if you know. With Just a bunch of people zig heiling. Hitting them with the Heil Hitler. I gotta, I gotta say... I don't approve, but it takes balls to do that in this day and age. Especially in L.A. And it also proves that Kanye is tapping in to possibly a bigger public sentiment than most people want to admit. This is one of the thing, things where, like, I wouldn't be shocked if we find out, you know, in, like, four months that it's actually, like, 25% of people agree with Kanye West. <laughs> it could be one of those things that just no one speaks. Or, uh, now I'm curious to know what those Bible verses say. Uh Oh, I'm sure something about the... The beast? Th- the Jews. They're, they're usually a, a enemy in, in the old good book. Oh, right. It's the whole synagogue of Satan. Uh, Revelations yeah. 3.9 is, Behold, I will make of them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not... But do lie. It is a rough time to be a religious person into Revelations. Yeah. Because you really can wake up every day and be like, well, there's another one. We should we should start a, a Revelations podcast. What, and just, like, count down how they've all happened? No, just read the book. Oh, just like audio, a book club. Yeah. Just an audio book? 
Maybe, but like we discuss it. Just oh, break it down. It will have Bible study. Yeah, yeah, Bible study. <laughs> that could be cool. Yeah. That'd be cool. We'd piss off Jews and Christians. Yeah, with our, with our uninformed takes on Revelation. And then we'll do the Hindu shit. I forget what their book is called. I don't know. Bhagavad Gita, that one? Uh, Yeah, sure. Yeah, That why sounds not? Hindu. It does. The Bhagavad Gita? <laughs> They're the Hindu love spells in that fucking witchcraft book. Oh, so, we'll get to that witchcraft they're book. They're so fucking funny. I they meant were, to get to it yesterday during the cr- live stream. But. They're cracking me up. Now, I was thinking, do you think black folk are jealous of the Jews because they turned slavery into running the world? Oh, you mean they like they flipped it better? Yeah. They, they had a better Because that's flip? the one thing those two communities have in common is slavery. Yeah, I guess... Mm. And, you know, like the blacks have seen, you know, like Jewish folk go from building pyramids, allegedly, to <laughs> to now just like running the banks and to Holly- where they're at and Hollywood. Yeah, they have had quite the come up. I guess the one argument you could say is uh, the Jewish people were enslaved quite a while ago. They have also been run out of like every country they've gone to, though, for like the last thousand years. But then I guess the the Jewish folk could also say the Holocaust, not that long ago. The Holocaust was... 1940s, not that that long ago. Closer than slavery. Yeah. Now, it was was. still before blacks were allowed to vote, too. But the Jewish people also get the ultimate card. They're white. So they can pass as not being Jewish. That's true. Some of them can, although I think... I mean, I I think their whiteness is quickly being erased. I am by blood 50% Jewish. I don't know how many people would look at me and say I look like a Jew. You're not rich. Yeah, that's true. They don't care. Maybe it's the money that that would shape me into looking more Jewish. So that's where this whole thing gets funny because no one's accusing poor Jews of being part of this plan. Yeah. They're poor. Which over that, that overtakes their Jewishness. It does always come down to the money thing. Everyone always seems to leave out that that modifying factor of all these arguments. Well, that's what it is. It's like you're not you're not saying Jews run. I mean, yes, Jewish people are in those positions, but you're saying rich people but, run that. Yeah, it's not like poor motherfuckers are in charge of the banks. Yeah, the or, or, or the, the Orthodox national corporations. The Orthodox Jews don't even own Nikes. Yeah, it's. Uh, it's rich people. Rich people are in charge of all these things. And it yeah. just so happens some of those rich people well, happen to be Jewish. Again, this is what I said the problem was going to be with Kanye and this whole thing is like, yes, if you look at the you know CEOs and owners of most of these companies, yeah, they tend to be Jewish. That's That's kind of just a hard fact to get around. But... They're mostly just rich, which is what makes them... Their Judaism does not make them powerful. It's it's their oh, incredible yeah. wealth. God damn it. Ugh. Fucking YouTube ruins my bits. I was trying to play Fiddler on the Roof. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. What a pertinent... Can we remake that with black folks? So anyways, hey, the rich people... So, you know, the folks who control Hollywood and shit, right? I, but <laughs> hell yeah, that fucking slaps. It does kind of slap. Go fiddling on a roof. We should uh, we should start incorporating more music beds in our show. Yeah, just a little subdued music beds. Maybe just fiddler once, on the roof in the Oriental riff. Maybe once I do I do the the studio renovation, I'll set up spots for the the soundboard and shit to come back. Yeah, the yeah. soundboard has been has been dearly missed. But yeah, the 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 anti-Semitic shit is just. I don't know how you talk someone out of that. I don't know that you can. Because you can't be like, no, there aren't Jewish people in power. I think the issue is, people are gonna latch onto it no matter what, and. Well, if they believe it, not like if no. they're on the fence, but if they're there. What I mean is, people who are inclined to do that sort of thing are going to latch on. To something. They're going to find some group, whether it's the blacks or the Jews or the Chinese or the Democrats or the Republicans, whoever the fuck it is. They're going to find someone and they're going to latch on to them. Yeah. And in some cases, it happens to be someone like this. But I think the children of Israel happen to be a special case. They are because there's like a historical background for it. Yeah. They're, this isn't like new. They've been, you know, accused of running the world since banks were created. Yes. Yeah, since uh, time itself was invented. 
but yeah, I'm I'm curious to see how much more this keeps popping off because Kanye is clearly just going all in. Shit, someone else just announced they were cutting ties with Kanye. This oh, he's Vogue. gonna lose everyone. Vogue just cut they're ties. all they're all gonna cut ties, and that's not gonna help. No, no, because we know how these people. I know how Kanye thinks right now. I hope his next album is all Fiddler on the Roof flips. He, oh, he just remixes Fiddler on the Roof. This next album is going to be incredible. Yeah. It's going to be 808s and gas chambers. 808s like and yarmulkes. It's going to be great. That's why the ecosystem sounds so funny. Yeah. Because it's like, that's where they're going to send them. If we have another Holocaust, I know where it's going to happen. It's going to happen in the ecosystem. He, he would make a decent... Hitler light. Black Hitler is a funny thing. Like, that'd be a good sketch, to be <laughs> honest. Black Hitler is really funny, which, I mean, is essentially what ba- black Hebrew Israelites are. But in terms of the, the lead-up story, like, people always make fun of Hitler's yeah, story. How like Hitler he was got a, there. He was a failed artist, he, yeah. you know, whatever. Kanye's story would be even better, because it'd be like, he was a really popular yeah, pop bo- rap star. Yeah. And then... And then he just wanted to make clothes in America. And, and they then wouldn't he went, let him. Then he started going on podcasts. And then... Yeah. yeah. And now now look at where it landed us. Yeah. I wonder if yeah. him and Akon can't just, like, team up and, and I don't think take Kanye, over Africa. Kanye doesn't want to go back to Africa. He's trying to bring manufacturing back to America, man. Yeah, I don't Which know, is I, ironically a good thing to be doing. I don't know how well that's going to work out for him. I mean, it's not that hard. You just buy the factory. It's like... He, Kanye doesn't run his own businesses. You just buy the no, factory and let someone else fucking make it. I wonder who runs his businesses. Well, I have a feeling his background checks have a new question on them. Yeah, I I wonder how many people have quit the companies he owns. Oh, I'm sure that's why they're dropping him left and right. Yeah. Part of it is that people are just like, either you drop Kanye, we're all going to quit. And like, well, we can't get rid of, you know, our highest paid, you know, employees. Yep. So Can't uh, get rid of the whole legal department. No, so off goes Kanye. I did love Alan Dershowitz came out and was like, yeah, this is dangerous rhetoric from Kanye. It's like, dude, you molested like 15-year-olds. You're on the island, Alan. Yeah. We don't, we don't want to hear from you. I don't know. That's He's one of the most remarkable stories of the Epstein thing is like, we know he's guilty and just he still gets to keep it moving. He's the Teflon man. It's incredible, which I think is just because as a lawyer, he's so good. That, that he got away with it? Well, he did get away with it. He did. He, his his legal... That's the thing. If I knew I was guilty, I'm hiring Alan Dershowitz. Didn't he... He tried to pull that. He had the... Uh, fuck. Not, what, what the fuck's that legal form called? The, he pulled it. He, what he got them to do was all sign an NDA. NDA. That's... Uh, Essentially. Trying, I want to say a DNC, but I know no. that wasn't right. An NDA, where he's like, no, that's I'm actually he, allowed to fuck you. That's who he was working for. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's if you read the, the any of the story about the, the NDA he had signed, incredible legal work. I have no idea how it was, like, legal to do that, mm. to have a molested sex victim... Sign an NDA. That was underage, sign an NDA, and there's all of a sudden it's like, Your Honor, I can't be guilty. They signed an NDA. <laughs> it's uh it's that's... it's one of the most brilliant, like, and horrifying legal moves of all time. Yeah, it's really scummy, but yeah. I mean, okay, hey, if it keeps you out of prison. Who do you think Kanye goes after next? I think he's gonna stay hammering this for a while, but what I'm excited for, this will eventually pivot. To the reptilians. There's only one place this road can end. Because eventually... Maybe, so, yeah. Well, no, follow my logic here. Come All along right. with me on this this journey, right. on lead, this fantastic voyage. Lead the way. He he just he progressively gets more and more obtuse and out there. Yes. And, and we know he, he doesn't fucking formulate thoughts for himself. He just goes with whoever he's with. The delusions have taken over. We've seen this since literally... When, when was Katrina? That's 2005, 2006? 2005, yeah. He's, he's been doing it since the George Bush doesn't care about black people era. He literally just takes other people's thoughts. And he just keeps getting pushed further and further towards the side. So eventually, when this backlash hits him, and the only thing Kanye wants is to be uh, lauded. He, he just wants to be viewed at, uh, looked at as a god. I think he wants to be president now. Well, that's what I mean. And, and you're not going to get there 
what doing. A, that's doing, a hell of a platform to run on. Yeah, this this a little too uh, device of a platform to run on is uh, though for me, and you know who I'll take care of. Yes, blatant anti-Semitism is a bit uh, <laughs> too direct a platform to run on. But so I think when, once he settles down from this manic episode, and, and all the backlash fully washes over him, he realizes how hated he is. Comes to grips. He's going to have to cut ties with Candace Owen. And now he's going to have to go further to the side. And the only thing further to the side is we're going to go like full Michael Baxter and Kanye is going to be talking about uh, Gitmo executions or aliens. That and could I, be, think, I mean, I could see him believing in aliens because he'd probably come to the conclusion that he is one. But I, I don't think we're going to get like Tom DeLonge aliens. I don't think yeah. it's going to be as bland as like, here's some videos where I think there's some aliens. I think it's going to be like, I can communicate with the aliens. I could see that. I could also just see him getting deep into the black Hebrew Israelite <laughs> rabbit hole. I hope that happens for no other reason than I want him to start designing clothes for Gap that look like the black Hebrew Israelite garb. Well, he's going to be designing clothes for himself from now on. Yes, he's going to be selling them at the Salvation Army. Now, if this was a ploy to get out of contracts, well played. Yes. Bit of a roll of the dice, in my opinion. It's... About I, the only way to get dropped by Gap. I actually think he'll judge it mostly on how well this next album does. Like, if this next album crushes, because it's probably going to be fantastic. Oh, man. Then I think he's going to be like, I'm fucking right. The I, people are supporting me. I. But if it just, like, bombs. It would have to be a fantastic fucking song to overcome this. Look, man. He's, he's going to have to drop, here's like... Here's the thing. He is an artistic genius. He's going to have to drop, like, uh, Power Part 2 or something. I don't, Watch the Throne Part 2 is supposedly on the way. Jay-Z is not associating any of his businesses with this man right now. If there's one thing Jay-Z won't fuck up, it's his money. Yeah, but I think Jay-Z owns most of his companies. He's... Well, I know he's suing uh, Bacardi right now. That's why this is a quandary for the black community. Yeah. I feel for them here. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Uh, I don't think Jay-Z's going to do shit with Kanye. I mean, then he'll just call Jay-Z a, you know, Jewish controlled, which is funny as well. He absolutely will. But I bet you he'll be able to get features on that album and we'll know who in the black community. Yeah, it's going to yeah. be Kanye. It's, it's going to be, be like Daylight's going to be on Kodak Black. Yeah. Daylight. Uh, uh, who's that female rapper who hangs out with Elon Musk who was popular like eight years ago? I don't, I don't fucking Grimes? No, no, Grimes not a rapper. No, I don't remember her fucking name. It doesn't matter. Nicki Minaj? No, she's like a Nicki Minaj light. Cardi B? No, she's like Cardi B. Mul <laughs> Mulatto? I don't remember her fucking name. It doesn't matter. She's it really a female. doesn't. She, she's a female she rapper. Like deep fried a cat or something, I think. You just don't remember this? Just for fun? Uh, maybe she ate a cat, killed a cat. I don't oh, remember. I hope you eat it if you're going to go through the trouble of deep frying it. I still like my bit of deep frying a parrot. Azalea Banks. Oh, Azalea. The crazy one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, go. yeah. Yeah, she believes in voodoo. She sure does. I know she doesn't like Jewish people. She would definitely be on the new Kanye album. Oh, hell yeah. She'd jump at the chance. But, like, I genuinely think that's what he'll judge this on because he is indeed an artist first. Do you think he would still get, like, Spotify placement, though? Yeah, probably. You think so? Even after all this, he's still getting well, Spotify and iTunes he, he does own title. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, unless the songs say something horrific, <laughs> you know, like, in just plain language, I think he'll at least, you know, because uh, he'll have to make the, the songs good. I mean, I guess you could make, like, like, a Fuck the Jews song that was a banger, but I think he'll have to be a little more... You know, biblical ba with it. Based on his current, the, the way his rhetoric is currently trending, I think he's going for it. Look, the lyrics might be hit or miss. The beats are going to be fire. That's the thing. This is like if Da Vinci was severely anti-Semitic. Yes, if Da you Vinci know, went manic. If he was just like, you know, the Medici clan owns all the banks. We got to fucking take care and of it. And now them. I'm going to paint about it. And then he still just came out and like, and he painted The Last Supper. Yeah. You're like, well, fuck. He, Shit. He's fucking he did it again. He's <laughs> super anti-Semitic, but God damn, this is fire, that bro. That boy can paint. Fuck, yeah. It's that, like, that's how I feel with Kanye. Just like, God damn it, he's so, he's a genuine artistic genius. Well, that's really where he fucked up, is he should have done this after, like, Yeezus. I don't know. I he think shouldn't he... have dropped, like, two garbage albums in a row. Well, that's, His yeah. last decent album was Kid See Ghosts. Well, that's why he had to go off his meds. Because uh, Jesus is King, Donda, and Donda 2 yeah, were all 
Hot garbage. Who would have thought gospel Kanye was going to turn into this? Yeah. That's yeah. a weird 180. Well, or is it? Or was he spending so much time in church, he was like, I think I'm putting a few things together here. Yeah, he read that synagogue of Satan yeah. part. It was like, wait a second. Synagogue? I know who goes to those. Yeah, and here we are. But, like, this album's going to be great because he's always best at his craziest. But actually, now that I think about it, either way, if it does incredible, he's going to feel, you know, like he was right. And if it just tanks... He knows who to blame. He knows who and to blame. And we're going to get part two. He's kind of trapped himself. It's a win-win scenario. He's trapped himself in yeah. a win-win catch-22. Yeah. Where no matter what, he will he will be victorious. We got to find a way to introduce him to Brother Bobby. Some way, somehow. That's the only thing that could save Kanye West right now. Although uh, the one thing he hasn't done, which is because I know is how there's still a little bit of him left because he wants to make money, is he hasn't gone after white people. He'll... He won't do that. No. Because he's trying to run for president. So if you took black Hebrew Israelite and you took out the hatred of white people, uh huh. That's pretty much what we're looking at. Yeah, more or less. I hope he starts dressing in like their garb they wore for that interview. Oh, the Louis Thoreau one? Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I want him designing yeah. that for Gap, like the Pharaoh outfit. It's but just that they're still wearing like Air Forces for some reason. The Adidas fucking Yeah. Black Hebrew Israelites set up. The Adidas Pharaoh garb. It will be interesting to see how far he can go before even Candace Owens is like, hey, I need you to chill. Yeah, we're going to have to mellow out for a yeah. minute here. Look, look, you're you're fucking up the money. But I think he couldn't have done this until now because you need to be exceedingly wealthy. Yeah, you had to stockpile the, the war funds. Because that's the thing. Like, if he'd done this before he was a billionaire... And just literally everyone dropped him. Well, that'd probably be like the end of him. As a, a singular individual, you can make money or you can go to war. You can't do both as yeah. an individual. Yeah, but now that he's got all this money, like, yeah, he can open open up his own factory. That's not a hard thing to do. You just need money and people willing to work shitty jobs. Lord willing. And he's going to open Jesus up his... Jesus willing. I'm still calling it right now. <clears throat> Well, actually, Ben Shapiro came out and had some not-so-kind words about what Kanye said. So I can't imagine why. Maybe this won't happen, but I still like him partnering with Daily Wire to create a new uh, record company. I, mm, I, think, I think Kanye is going to try and do everything on his own, and then that will all come crashing to a halt in about three months. Yeah, I mean, he'll find out very quickly how, and then difficult, he'll do an apology how difficult it is to do business without a certain sect there Yes, to help everything move along. All right, what else do we got? Uh, let's see. Uh, so they're already greasing the polls in Philly today. <laughs> because I if, saw that. They were doing it yesterday. Because if the Phillies win, they go to the, the World Series. And I was thinking, like, that's one of the things I think makes America. Like, that's America at its best. At its finest, like at its purest form, is we rule because our reaction to a baseball team making the World Series is we're going to ruin this city. We're going to burn our town down. In celebration, though. Do you... Do like that, the, the only thing I could think of is like, I don't know, Romans fucking drunk out of their mind after an orgy just like torching someone because... Fucking Gatticus won the, the Coliseum tournament. I actually specifically remember when the Lakers were three-peating, they used to run, uh, P going back to PSAs, there used to be a PSA with Derek Fisher. Yeah. That was like, if the Lakers win tonight, please don't flip over cop cars yeah. and set them on fire. Please only burn cars that yes. are very cheap. Yes. All <laughs> right. Target Honda. Yeah. The city can only afford so much, folks. Let's not go overboard. But I was like, this is... This is what we need to get back to as America. I hope we get the guy who ate the shit back. You remember that guy? The oh, guy yeah. When the Eagles won the Super Bowl, who just ate the cow shit out of, or the cow shit, horse shit out of the street? I'd rather burn a car, to be honest. Me too. I don't. But that's dedication. It's, if only we had that much, like, if only anyone cared that much about our actual country. As much as they care about the Phillies? Yeah. like if I don't we, even think they care about the Phillies. I think they just care They just care about mayhem there. Uh, I mean, their city is in mayhem. And now that the Sixers have played like garbage, they're 0-3. Yeah. They're, they're not doing well. Yeah. They, yeah. they need violence to restore the city's equilibrium. The process was a lie. It didn't, didn't work out. Joel Embiid dropped like 40 last night. 
and then Harden dropped like 12. Well, so, you know, he was at a strip club, okay? Probably. Okay, that's what it, But, like, I love that they have to grease them and people still... Tr- and instead of the people being like, okay, maybe we shouldn't do these, they're like, challenge accepted. I, I got this. Like, that's a very Philly thing. In L.A., we like to burn cars and uh, shit. In Philly, they, for some reason, like to climb things. I think publicizing that you're greasing the poles so people can't do it is just going to have that sort of effect where it's just going to be people taking it as a challenge, where now people are going to be trying to build fucking shoe molds to counteract grease on the the light poles and shit. Oh, it is definitely a challenge now, because if you go back to when, yeah, when the Eagles won the Super Bowl... They dudes had, like, their own fucking rigs to pull themselves up. Yeah. Which is funny because, like, yeah, you have to put that out as a deterrent. You don't want people just, like, grabbing the pole thing and it's going to be fine and then just falling off and cracking their head. But then then they forget, like, oh, wait, everyone's going to be 15 beers deep. By the time this game ends, that's that's hopefully yeah that's that's a light work in Philly. There's no there's no predicting or or stopping a hammered individual. Did you see the uh, the picture of the guy who was like in charge of just putting the grease on the light poles? He was just smoking a cigar and like painting oh, yeah. light poles with yeah, grease. Yeah, yeah, what a sick job to yeah. have. What what do you what do you do, Phil? Uh, I'm the grease pole guy. I smoke stoves yeah, you and, know, and paint light poles with grease. Anytime we get near a victory, I just go out, you know, greasing all the poles and shit. Sounds like fun. Why not? Why not? Fuck it. You know, it's the only time mayhem is really fun is when it's done in the name of celebration. Riots, not so fun. No. But rioting because you're going to the World Series? Uh-huh. Hell yeah, bro. What if we started building fake cities just for rioting after your team wins a Super Bowl or World Series, whatever. Like if Philly, like, quarantined off, like, a two-block radius where, like, all the businesses were already fucked and just left, like, stunt cars. And we're like, look, go to town. Yeah, exactly. Like, if we set up a fake town for... Yeah. You know when you go to Universal Studios and you yeah. do, like, the backlot tour and there's fake, like, Paris yeah. and fake New York? Let's just build one of those. We drop it in whatever city is about to win the championship. And each city gets, like, eight hours, just go fucking wild. Now, and then we could just airlift that city out at the end, and everything's all hunky-dory. Now, you'd have to shepherd those drunk assholes over to the fake city, which would be difficult in and of itself. Or maybe you just drop it on top of the real city. Just, like, right in front of it? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Fa- Like, false a, a facade. walls? facade, yeah. False fake walls front. and shit? Yeah. Uh, we'll see. I guess it depends on how much damage they end up doing. I don't remember how much damage was actually done as a result of the uh, they usually, Eagles winning. They usually get a couple mil. Yeah, they did all right for for themselves. Pretty easily. Yeah. Yeah. I we'll have we'll definitely get some videos of that for next week if if the Phillies win cuz those videos just make me endlessly laugh. Are they already in the World Series? No, I, no, they're in the the NLCS. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, they're National League. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But if they I think if they win tonight, ah, they go to the World Series. Which would be fun, because then we'll get Shane Gillis at the World Series. That would be fun. I want Shane Gillis to throw out the first pitch <laughs> at, hilarious, at the World Series. Look, no community would embrace someone with a past of racist statements like Philadelphia. That's a city that would be like, eh, hey, fuck it. Shane's good with us. Those chinks were wrong. <laughs> yes. We it blame w- them. It would finally come full circle for him. Yeah. Yeah. That and the fact that SNL is going to die soon. Oh, God. Lord willing. Oh, no, they're like, their ratings are plummeting. Even Lorne Michaels is like, yeah, maybe we should stop. After season 35 or some shit? There are way more than that. They're, I think they just passed, like, season 50, didn't they? Oh, for fuck's sake. They've been doing it since the 70s. Yeah. But, yeah, like, they, gotta stop. they also lost, like, 90% of their cast. I, I don't know that I've ever watched an episode of SNL and laughed. Like, at the It skits. used to be good back in the day. I've, la- I've laughed at Weekend Update. Yeah, Weekend Update, I would say, is the one thing that's always been, like, funny. Because Mostly it's because just comedians telling jokes. Yeah, it's just punchlines. I don't think... I've never found sketch comedy particularly funny. They had eras that were good. Like, yeah. the Will Ferrell era is great. Those are funny. Never really watched it then. Well, I had the best of DVD because the okay. Bishop loved that. Yeah, <laughs> we, we'd watch that all the time. Will, and they also had Will Ferrell and, like, a bunch of funny, other funny people. Yeah. Uh... You know, like some of the Obama years were pretty good because they just didn't make like they didn't talk about politics. They just did funny things. Yeah. 
And then, like, they have one of my all-time favorite characters, which is Drunk Uncle. Yeah. I do not know Bobby Munahan. I don't know how that never got a TV show. Drunk Uncle was so fucking funny. I guess that's when I kind of started to spin out of control is when they started giving everyone a movie off of SNL. That's true. That did become the... Like, SNL used to be, like, the, the cream of the crop. Like, that was... You made it. Yeah. Now it's like you get the SNL, and then you're going to get movie deals. And then... But then where it really went downhill is they started spinning SNL sketches into movies. Like, wasn't there a Magruder or whatever Yeah, they movie? did a Magruder one. They actually tried... What is it? Bill Bill Hader, whatever his yep. name is. They tried to make the the gay hairstylist or whatever have a movie. Yeah. Which actually probably would have been funny. That was a good character too. That's a good that was a good era also, just because they had him and he's funny. Yeah. You know. I think Keenan Thompson managed to par- parlay something into a shitty NBC show. But that's the real problem, is they're just their writing sucks. Uh yeah. <laughs> that's a generous way to put it. Yeah. And like I don't know if they even pay enough anymore. I'm for, sure it, it probably pays well, but I think having to deal with all the bullshit that comes with it at this point is probably just not worth it. Well, that, like, you can't cuss, like, you can't do a lot, because, like, Lauren Michaels, if he really wanted to, could go and call, like, Tim Dillon and be like, look, I'll pay you $3 million a year. You only work six months out of the year. We take a break. Please come save the... Like, him... Go to like a, I mean, you're not going to get Shane at this point, but there's enough comedians you could go to and just offer them like a godfather offer. Yeah. And be like, look, I have one more season or this show's going down. Because the show still works when you have good writing and funny people. Problem is now they just have like gay theater kids. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what they ended up with. Turns out hiring people who uh, aren't the funniest people auditioning for it was not a good call. Yeah, it turns out it's better to get stand-ups and teach them how to fucking act. Yes, than try and get actors and teach them to write funny things. Yeah, then to get Bowen Yang and try and make him funny. Oh, fuck that. All yeah. right, what else we got? He makes me more racist all the time. Let's see. So Russia is now saying that Ukraine's going to do a dirty bomb. That's hilarious. Wasn't Ukraine just accusing Russia, saying they were going to do the same thing? Oh, they've literally been doing this for like the last pretty much month at this point, where it's just been like, Ukraine's going to shoot off a nuke, and Ukraine's like, hey, Putin is trying to shoot off nukes. And then Russia's like, no, they're gonna, uh, you are. Yeah, you like, are. they're going to do a false flag. And he's like, well, no, no, Russia's going to do the false flag. It's just going back and forth. Like, be- it's one of those wars where I no longer know what's true it'd be great if the war just turned into them not even fighting each other but they're just they're they're false flagging themselves and then blaming the other country it's just a war of attrition but yeah. you're just killing your own people Yeah, they're just bombing themselves yeah. and then blaming the opposite country just trying to claim war crimes and shit yeah it's i i mean i hate to sound uh callous but at this point i don't really fucking care no one ever really fucking <laughs> cared it's Ukraine. I don't even know what we get out of that country. I what do they export other than like I don't corruption. really care about Russia either. I don't Well, I don't care about Russia, but they also have the second like the second most nukes. That's true. So like there's a bunch of like oil and shit. <clears throat> yeah, like they have things we need. So yeah. like I don't care about Russia, but they serve a purpose. I don't know what Ukraine does. No, I I feel like if you listed every country in the world and I had to explain why we need them, I could not do it. I'm taking those African countries with the lithium and cobalt over Ukraine. Easy. Oh, easy. Yeah. Yeah. It's I I've made the same argument when it comes to when people start arguing about like how we got to stop mining to save some fucking butterfly or some shit. It's like, I, I don't think we need to, actually. I don't think we need that butterfly. I don't think we need this specific armadillo. I don't think we need to save any of these dumb fucking species of cattle. I did, it doesn't make any fucking difference to me. I, I, don't, I don't care about any of these animals. I did read a report that, that we've killed off like 69% of the, the animal population. I was like, well, they should have fucking learned how to it make... It makes no difference to me. They should have learned how to make nukes. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. The people I do hate... With a very like, very passionate hate right now, is these queer stop like stop oil now, the, the morons who keep throwing soup at paintings. Oh yeah, they they threw. Uh, Don't they know that's what ISIS does? What is, someone just threw uh, something at the Mona Lisa a few days ago. They they've hit Van Gogh. They just threw shit at a Monet earlier. Yeah, they threw 
tomato soup at Van Gogh, right? And then they yeah. they threw, I don't know, like a bucket of cum at Mona Lisa or some shit. I think it's always soup for some reason. Lois Vogel Sharp would hate that. Why yeah. are they using this soup? Maybe this is just guerrilla marketing for Campbell's. Or, or <laughs> their, That's their a stock r- dropped. Campbell's is trying to go green. But then I heard it, this was even deeper than that. I heard this was a uh, elite move. So the, the global elites were paying this protesting group uh-huh. in order to make people who protest against oil look stupid. Well, they're fucking working. Yeah. Because these people look like fucking retards. Because there was a, that other protest the same week the, the soup one happened where uh, they just went to like a grocery store and started pouring milk on the ground. Oh, I think that's a Gen Z thing, which is all, I mean, it's equally as retarded, but I don't really care about you wasting $100 worth of milk. <laughs> throwing either. Throwing soup at uh, priceless paintings yeah. that like, you know, that's our antiquity. That I kind of have an issue with. Now, luckily, they're still throwing shit at paintings that have glass in front of them. Yeah. Which I think almost makes them look stupider. Because if you're going to go through the... If you're really trying to make a statement... Yeah, destroy it. Yeah, you're going to need to literally fuck one of these paintings up. Like that kid who accidentally tripped and punched a hole in one of those priceless paintings. (laughs) Oh, that's one of my favorite videos ever. The, The mortified look on his face when he realizes what he's done... Perfect. Yes. But yeah, these assholes just look like retards. And then they glue then they glue their hand to it. Oh saw, yeah, I've seen that move with the, the Ferrari where people are like gluing their hands to the Ferrari that and was someone a, else glued their hand to the fucking street. That's their move. But and there was another one where it was uh maybe it was General Electric. I don't remember, it's one of those companies. Uh but they got in, they glued their hand to the floor, and then forgot about having to piss and shit. Nice. So they had nowhere to go to the bathroom, uh-huh. and they just, like, the company just, like, closed all the doors, like, turned off the the air conditioning or the heating, <laughs> I don't remember which, so it was just, uh-huh. like, brutally cold, <laughs> and they had nowhere to piss, and it's like, yeah, protesting is not supposed to be comfortable no. for you. Have, you. have you seen Selma? Yeah. It was pretty brutal, I'm going to be honest, but they're just, they're so dumb that I almost, I'm like, you know what, good, we should destroy the planet. I can't tell if I'm jealous at the fact that they care that much about something. I don't know if they do, though. Do if, they, or are they just losers who finally well, found a group that would accept them? To answer your first question, yes, yes, they are losers. Yeah. Secondly, do do you think... This, this I guess, is what uh, confounds me. Uh-huh. Do you think what they're protesting is number one on their list of shit they care about? Like, do you think... The Saving people, the planet? Well, do you think, like, the, the people who are throwing soup at the painting, do you think that's, like, every morning when they wake up, that's, like, the top of their fucking concerns list? The the soup throwing at paintings? <laughs> yeah, or whatever the cause they were doing that for. The cause is to, to get the governments to, I don't know, I guess stop using oil? Well, that seems like a really bizarre route to go about doing that. That's what I'm like. Do you think oil paint is used... From the same oil we put in the cars? <laughs> they can't. Because I can tell you right now, it's not. They can't think that's going to work. They, they simply can't. But if they, if they can't, why? I think they do is the problem. Also, they're, it's funny because they're like, you need to stop next year. It's like, okay, yeah, let's just literally stop using oil next year and see how well that turns out. You, know what, your, case- you know what your glue probably has in it? Petroleum. In which case, I am jealous of them because I don't care that much about anything. Well, I'm not jealous about them because I think they genuinely think the world's going to end. Yeah, but that's got to be kind of fun in itself. Like if you that's wake true. up, in this, if you wake up and every day you're in a fight for the existence of the globe, that's really powerful. You know, maybe we found something that these people and you know, real raw news can yeah can bond on is the world's ending. Because both fringes seem pretty convinced the world is ending. Correct. They just, yeah. no one's found the unifying factor and all that. Well, they go about it different ways, but they should just meet up and be like, hey, 
We might disagree on the route, but we all know this is over in six years. That reminds me of when uh, those there there was a group of people in Israel who were like paying some super Christians over here to like <laughs> breed this specific cow because they thought it would bring about the end times. Oh, the red heifer. Yeah, exactly. No, we reported on this. The yeah. red heifer was born. Yeah, that's the thing. We've we've crossed a lot of the signs of revelations if we're taking it literally, which is a weird sign. Like a red cow will be born. Let's read some spells. You want to read some spells? Let's yeah. Let's read some spells. We read some Why spells not? and I can finish up how we'll end this. Well, I want to end on spells, so let's do one more news story. I don't want to cast spells and and All then right. go about news. Do you want to do do you want to do dude lights himself on fire? Lady spends 11k to look like her husband's sex doll. Ooh. Semen sniffing dogs used by British cops to help bust sex offenders. Sex doll. Five-year-old white boy claims to be reincarnation of a black woman named Pam Robinson. That one. The last one. Normally, I'd go sex doll, but, okay. but kid is reincarnated. Is that the, I was killed, and now I'm reincarnated as a boy, and I can prove it? Uh, yeah, so, so the way the story goes is, which one was he? Hold on. I've got it up on my screen if you want to just screen share it. Yeah. So, so basically, the gist of the story is this young white boy would retell stories of, like, dying in a fire uh-huh. and about how, like, he used to be a woman named Pam with black hair. Mm-hmm. And, like, they did an investigation and found this woman in Chicago named Pam, uh, what was it, Pam Robinson, uh, who did die in a fire in like 93 or some shit. Uh-huh. So now they're like, I mean, obviously the kid isn't the one writing this article, but the <laughs> I, family, I the family is convinced that like, yeah, my, my white son is a black woman is a black woman. This rules. I mean, it's we awesome. Need, this is the news we need. I mean, he does have some pretty prescient points that are kind of on the money, but also the funny part is, uh, the black family wanted nothing to do with this. Oh, really? They tried oh, to hunt yes. down the original family? Well, they once they found this lady, they tried to reach out to her family like, hey, does this sound right? Because I, I assume the phone call was, hey, my, my uh, five-year-old white son thinks he's the reincarnation of your black daughter that you lost tragically in a fire. Uh, could you 30 confirm? 30-something years ago? Yeah, could you confirm a few details for us so we can make sure this is true? Uh, if you get a call like that, would you play along with it? If I was the black family? If, yeah. Like, if someone called you and was like, whoever has died in your family, if, if someone called you and was like, look, my son's your dead uncle, but he's he's Korean. Are they offering me money? I don't know what they're offering, but that's, that's the opening uh, salvo of the conversation. He loves kimchi. Is, that, that was our first... Our first clue. Is my small Korean child is your reincarnated uncle? You know, I don't know. Black folk aren't really into reincarnation. Too they much. don't like ghosts. We, we've gone they over that before. Go- they hate ghosts. They're terrified not- of ghosts. Kind of terrified of UFOs. They're not into the, the creepy crawly shit the way, the way we are. Yeah, they're into very specific paranormal stuff. Yeah, they don't, they don't like ghost hunter shit. Because, like, I'm trying to think off the top of my head some of the fringe black groups and like, yeah, I don't think the black Hebrew Israelites believe in reincarnation. No, I would definitely, if someone called yeah. me and told me that I would definitely rock with it. Just, just to see where it goes. Now, I mean, you gotta, if someone calls you and tells you that you gotta, yeah, you just see what happens with it. You can't just shut it down off, off top. Yeah. No, I don't exactly know what the family was going to ask to confirm their suspicions. At the very least, you got to let it play out for a while because you might be able to like parlay it into uh, an appearance on Coast to Coast. You might be able to get a shitty book deal out of it. I think this might have been for like a reality show. See? See? Yeah. yeah. They, they fucked up the bag. That's yeah. at least one check they could have had out of this. Do you think the black family would have been cool with it if it was a black girl? Because I, I haven't studied reincarnation enough to know whether or not it's race specific. Like, can I only come back as a white man? Huh. Or have I been many races? Because that would really ruin racism. I think... Or I guess maybe it would give me... I'd be like, no, I have a black card. 
from from, <laughs> from I, I was five a, lifetimes ago. As a slave in in the early Americas. But I think the the idea is you can come back as anything, right? Because you're you're supposed to be able to come back as bugs and animals and all yeah, kinds of but shit. But those are just usually people who fucked up get sent back as lower life forms. Right. The people who did all right, you get to come back as another person. Right. Yeah. So I would think that would allow you to switch between because I would assume like you're not always going to come back in America. So you'd come back in a different continent. So if you come back in Africa, you're going to be black. If you come back in Asia, you're going to be Asian. You Are know what you? I mean? If you have a white soul, do you still get your black card? Interesting. This is like theoretical physics for racism. Yes, this is this is particle racist. Yeah. Now, what would be funny is if the little white boy started talking like a black woman. Yeah. That would crack me up. And if you heard that, I bet the family would be like, all right, let's find out what's going on yeah. here. Because like, this is... This is kind of funny. Just a black kid just like, no, my, my name used to be Pam. I was a hairdresser, okay? You know, I did curls and shit at my salon. Uh, we're doing a research. Yeah, I was doing a research, and then, you know, my building caught on fire. I wonder, do you think there's someone with, like, uh, what's that, DID, the Dissociative Identity Disorder? Herschel Walker? Well, something like that, but all of them are different races. That'd be fascinating. We gotta find someone Th- there's with the- DID we can cover for uh, Space Weirdos. Now, I suppose the problem is most of those turn out to be like they just have severe PTSD. And a lot of it is they're just trying to lie to get away with a murder. Yeah, like they have they have that one Netflix... Uh, I was just about to ask you about yeah, that because I want to go watch it. I don't remember the exact name, but the dude had like 27 yeah. identities. And it's like, well... That does seem like a lot off top, if I'm being Turns honest. Turns out they were all guilty of murder. Well, one of them was very guilty, from yes. what I remember. One of them was very, is like a murderous Russian. Yeah. Which is just very... Okay, no, actually, now that I think about it, yeah, he had multiple personalities. There, I don't know how many different ethnicities, uh-huh. but there were different ethnicities. That's pretty cool. It'd be funny if Herschel Walker, one of them, was like he was a white guy. That's that's the one running for uh That's true. That running be, for election. Who, has anybody posited this theory that the reason Herschel Walker's running is because the white guy in his head is taken over? <laughs> it's taken over his body and yeah. wants to be elected. That's why all of a sudden he's like, I've never paid for an abortion. What are you talking about? Yeah, no, I don't know what that check is. I wrote that check. I don't know yeah. what it's for. I mean, someone wrote that check. That could have been any any number of my personalities. All right, let's Kay? Speaking of white people, let's do the whitest thing we can do and cast a spell. Hell yeah. Read the name of the bitch who wrote this book. It's a great name. All right. This is Witchcraft, a handbook of magic spells and potions by Anastasia Greywolf. Hell yeah. That's how you know it's just going to be fire. With original illustrations by Melissa West. Yeah. So this came from that one period we had where I bought like 18 of the, the like satanic shit and spell books and magic. But I hadn't gone through this one in a while. Let's see. We got to see one's marital future uh, for three maidens to discern who they shall marry. The loved ones are kind of are pretty fucking funny. That's what I'm in. We got to see a visage of one's future husband. That might not be bad. We could see who our future husbands are to learn the first initial of one's intended uh, to know the name of the person whom one is to marry. All right. That sounds like a good one. Oh, wait. No, there it is. To know what fortune one's future husband shall have. Hell All yeah, right, bro. All gold digging spells. Hell yeah, bro. <clears throat> American magician's charm. Take a walnut, a hazelnut, <laughs> a nutmeg. <laughs> Everyone grab your notebooks. Take a walnut, a hazelnut, nutmeg. Grate them together and mix them with <laughs> butter and sugar. Wait a second, this is, this is just cookies. You're making a, like a, <laughs> a nutmeg pie. <laughs> Make them into small pills. Of which exactly nine must be taken upon going to bed. Wait, so you're making... It's walnut, hazelnut, nutmeg, butter, and sugar pills. Okay. That sounds like a dessert to me, but... It sounds right. delicious. Yeah, that sounds pretty tasty, honestly. And according to your dreams, so will be the state of the person you will marry. If he is to be a gentleman, your dream, dream will be of riches. If a clergyman, of white linen. If a lawyer, of... Wait a second. Uh-oh. Oh, no. If a lawyer, of darkness. If a tradesman, <laughs> of, of cold noises and tumults. If a soldier or sailor, of thunder and lightning. If a servant, of rain. That's a really lame spell. Yeah, keep going through. There's some good ones. If you find any of the Hindu ones, give them to me. I can read them. <laughs> you can read Hindu? 
Well, I mean, I can read it in my voice. Oh, okay. No, I can't I, read Hindu. <laughs> I thought you meant some of the spells were... not reading their fucking squiggly-ass bullshit language. Oh, here we go. The, the very next one is a Hindu incantation. Hell to yeah. arouse the passionate love of a man. Hell yeah. And then we can find the Jewish ones. Those are funny. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Left side of the page. Uh, this yearning love comes <laughs> from the Asparas, the victorious imbued with victory... Ye gods send forth the yearning love may yonder man burn after me. Hold on, there's better ones. Let me find. <laughs> there's somewhere he, they go into some real. This is my favorite guy. This is like one of the deities. Damn. Just hair. <laughs> Nothing else. Hold on. Let's see. Uh, Where was it? Oh, here's here's a good one. They have gypsy charms where it's just some gay poem. That's pretty funny. And then let's see. Oh, yeah, here's my favorite one. For true love, an ancient Jewish charm. Take a live mole, a male for a man, a female for a woman, and strike it on its right foot, and it will bring you true love. That's the whole thing? That's the whole thing. You there, go, no, stop. There, that's it. That's all go, we need. Give me the book. Yeah, I go find a, find a mole. And, and then strike it on his right foot. Hit that motherfucker in its right foot. A live one. And then voila. Yeah, don't use a dead mole. No, that, that will do you no good. Unless I assume, I assume you're a necrophile. That, that's true. If you want to, like, fuck a corpse. Yeah. But you got to figure out which one's in love with you. Dead mole. Right yeah, foot. Dead strike mole. Strike it. Right foot. What, hey. a, what a cool time. Hiddenplainsight.com. Yeah. Or no. Patreon.com slash yeah. Hidden Plain Sight Pod. Yeah, sign up for the fucking Patreon. We'd like to get to 100 people, so let's do it, folks, yes. okay? Help look, us help you. Look, we're Whatever soon, that means. We are soon going to be liable for $2.75 trillion in damages, yes. and uh, we're going to need the support of viewers like you. Precisely. Uh, Twitter.com slash The Hidden Pod. Yeah, at The Hidden Pod on Twitter. Uh, Instagram at Hidden in Plain Sight Radio. You mm -hmm. are at Brand Steel Hidden. And I do believe that is it. Stay tuned on Friday for a great Gary Spivey episode. Oh. Gary Spivey is back with a fucking bang this week. A marvelous Gary it's Spivey. It's fantastic. He is back in uh, rare form this week. Yeah, marvelous. One Shooting of... rainbows, healing people left and right. It's 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 great. It turns into one of our all-time characters. It's, it's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hoodie who? Mamba out.